the, the clock keeps going. Let's go ahead and listen in. I know. Blast off! So cool to see. This is history in the making. So big, doesn't even look real. Amazing. All right, so to give you an idea of what's going on right now, so about two and a half minutes after takeoff, the super heavy rocket booster is expected to expend most of its fuel. It'll separate from the Starship spacecraft and then fall into the ocean. Uh, the spacecraft will use its own engines. It'll burn for more than six minutes to basically accelerate into almost orbital speeds or roughly 17,000 miles per hour. Let's keep listening. We're throttled down and throttled back up. Going through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. As the velocity increases, the density of the atmosphere is decreasing. Max Q. Lessening stress on the vehicle. The call out, Max Q now. <laughs> Continuing to watch the first stage as we head down range. hundred seconds into flight. Our next major activity is going to be shut down of the first stage. Houston tracking station now acquiring the vehicle. With shutdown, we will get separation of Starship and Super Heavy and ignition of the Starship engines. When Starship separates, we light up six engines in a staggered sequence. And if all goes well, those six engines will burn for almost six and a half minutes. Onboard view from Starship. That's so cool. Views of the Raptor engines on the second stage as we prepare for stage separation. Now, after stage separation, the first stage will flip and begin a boost back maneuver for landing in the Gulf. Continuing to fly, two minutes, 40 seconds. Let's get ready for main engine cutoff. Beginning the flip for stage separation. As of right now, we are awaiting stage separation, where Starship should separate from the super heavy booster. Yeah, Kate, right now it looks like we saw the start of the flip, but obviously we're seeing from the ground cameras the entire Starship stack continuing to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. Yeah, it does appear oh. to be spinning, but I do want to remind everyone that everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake. Oh. Oh, some sort of explosion. Hopefully, you know, they keep explaining what we're seeing. And there, as you saw, oh, is that the separation? Oh, there we go. We're all learning together. And the crowd goes wild. That was exciting to see. It was, and kind of alarming at first, not realizing what I was know. happening, but to clear the pad and unfolding make it the way that they'd hoped. The the first integrated flight of the booster. All right, there you go. A successful Starship flight test. A round of applause. All of us in the studio are probably like you at home and people in the control room just 
in awe of what we just saw. That is history. This is, I mean, pretty amazing. The most powerful rocket ever to yeah. be launched in 2023 on 420. So it's a holiday to remember for, for many.